Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet right here. It is my own original design and it is called the Tulips and Tiaras bracelet. You probably have already seen this if you follow me on Instagram. And my Instagram name will be in the description below. But anyway, this is about the bracelet. I mean, it does look very similar to another bracelet, which is the boxed or the square single. But as you can see here, the pattern looks very different. As you can see, there's one rubber band. It looks like here and two here, one here, two here. There's also these rubber bands connecting. And I'm going to show you obviously how to make it. So. Let's begin. For this bracelet, you will need your loom. And you will only need four pegs on your loom, simply because this bracelet comes down through the bottom of your loom. But, if you do have a crazy loom, or royal, or not royal, crazy loom, or wonder loom, or loom that has this plastic in the bottom, you will have to pull this bracelet out to the side but it will be very difficult because this bracelet is almost as tall as your pegs so I would not recommend making this bracelet if you have this kind of loom. You will also need at least two different color rubber bands but I'm going to be using three because I used three in the example and also the this fourth color which it's just to show you the capping band. I'm going to be using yellow. These limited edition mint gold rubber bands. And these metallic rubber bands, which I have no idea what they are because a friend gave them to me and I have no idea what they are or where they're from. And I'm also going to be using this white color which will be the capping band. You will also need your hook and an S, C, or O clip. Here's an S clip, obviously shaped like an S, a C clip, which obviously looks like a C, and an O clip, which obviously looks like an O. Now, let's begin. So, of course, to begin, you're going to need to place the first rubber band, or your capping band. And this rubber band is the hardest rubber band to place because you have to twist it four times onto these four pegs. Not like a capping band, but you have to twist it. So that it wraps around all four pegs. I will show you as we do it. So what you do is you have your top left, your bottom left, your top right, and your bottom right. What you're going to do is you're going to take this rubber band and stretch it from the bottom right to the top left. Unless you're making it on this side, then you would stretch it from the bottom left to the top right. And I'm going to make it on the left side of my loom. And you're going to twist it like an eight across those two pegs. Then you're going to take the top left side of this rubber band and you're going to wrap it around this peg here. So it's kind of twisted right here. And then you can't really see. But you can see it wraps around it all the way. Then you're going to take this right side and you're going to do the same thing with this top right peg. As you can see it kind of wraps around, it does wrap around this peg. And it also wraps around this peg here. The only peg that the rubber band does not wrap around is this one here. So what you will do is you will take it off of that peg. And it will look, this will look like a triangle. And you will pull it back over to this peg and twist it around it. So you will get this shape right here. 
So, hooray! You find you've done you've completed the most difficult part of this bracelet. Now we're gonna place the first flower or crown bracelet. Oh, sorry. Which is this purple one right here? This orange one is the captain band. This purple one is the first flower or tiara. And for the purple, I'm going to be using yellow. So to place these purple rubber bands, or in this case, yellow, you will stretch this rubber, the rubber band across the two left pegs, like so. And then you will take another col of the, another of the same color, or a different color, depending on what you're using. And you're going to stretch it across the two right pegs. Now you're going to get your hook, and you're going to grab the bottom corner, or the bottom rubber bands, which will be like corners here, and you will grab the bottom rubber bands and you will pull them over your pegs. And onto these rubber bands, which it should start to look like this. And if you do the top right last, make sure you grab it from the outside, or from the right side, and pull it over. Because if you do it from the inside, it'll come... If you put it, do it from in here and pull it over, it'll come off your peg and it won't be on this rubber band like it should be. So when you finish, you should get an H shape with what looks like two rubber bands. You can see two rubber bands it looks like. Eh. Two rubber bands. And now you're gonna place a another rubber band of course. So you can push these down. And as you can see here, we're going to be placing this rubber band, which is this turquoise jelly. And it is what makes this bracelet here, different from another design that I've made, it makes this bracelet different from this one. So in place of the turquoise jelly, I'm going to be using this metallic color here, that I have no idea what it is, and you're going to stretch this rubber band around all four pegs. You're not going to need to twist it or anything. And then you're going to get your hook and you're going to loom all the bottom rubber bands on top. And here, you don't want to go inward going on the inside and pulling it over because this rubber band needs to be on this one and so you're going to have to do it from the outside to get it on or you can reach into the peg and pull it over as long as this rubber band is on this one here then you're fine now we're going to be placing the, this green rubber band right here and to place this green rubber band, I'm going to be using my mint gold. And you're going to stretch it across the, horizontally across the top pegs. So across the top left and right. And another one across the bottom left and right. And you're going to do the same thing you've been doing. You're just going to loom the bottom rubber bands on top. You can also go into the pad and put over. And now we're going to place the another rubber band, which represents it on here, 
is a, another turquoise jelly. And on Felix's example is this metallic color. And you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to stretch this one rubber band across all four on all four pegs. And you're going to loom the bottom rubber band to the top. And then you can push these rubber bands down. And now you're going to place another what is represented on representing these purple rubber bands is more of these yellow rubber bands which these yellow are the rubber bands that go vertically on the left side and vertically on the right side of the four pegs and you're going to do the same thing just loom the bottom rubber bands on top And now you're going to place another rubber band that goes across all four pegs and you're going to loom the bottom rubber bands on top again. And now I'm just going to explain kind of what the pattern here is. It is every time you place a horizontal or vertical rubber band, you place a rubber band that goes on top of it one that goes on all four pegs and you loom whatever's on the bottom so let me just show you so now that we've placed the vertical rubber bands and the rubber band that goes across all four pegs we're going to now place the rubber bands that go horizontally across the top and bottom pegs and then you're going to loom whatever's on the bottom push them down and then you will place another rubber band that goes on all four pegs and then loom whatever's on the bottom to the top And as you can see, it's kind of starting to form, going down into the loom. So you can just pull this with either your hook or your fingers. As you can see, the design is starting to come out. So I'm going to show you one more time the whole cycle. So when you have one of these rubber bands that go across all four pegs, we're going to place the two vertical rubber bands that go vertically across both sides, like so. And you're going to loom whatever's on the bottom. And then you're going to place another rubber band. And this one goes across all four pegs. And then you go in and loom whatever's on the bottom. And then you place the two rubber bands that go across the top pegs and the bottom pegs horizontally, of course. And you loom whatever is on the bottom. As you can see, there is no order to looming these. Just got, just have to get the rubber bands on the bottom to the top. 
And then one more time, you're gonna place a rubber band that goes across on all four pegs, and then whatever on the bottom. And then you would place the rubber bands that go vertically on the two sides of pegs, which are the left side and the right side. So you will just continue this until the bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist or however or whatever you want your bracelet to be long enough to go around. And as you can see I can just pull this down as it coming as it's coming down through my loom. But for this video I'm just going to show you how to take to finish your bracelet and take it off and put on a clip. I'm not going to make it long enough you know, for anything, I'm just going to show you now how to do that. So the last rubber band you want to have placed is either a rubber band going ver the, ver the rubber bands going vertically on the four pegs or horizontally on the pegs. So I'm going to place the last vertical rubber bands since this one goes on all four pegs. And you're going to want the last rubber band you loom to be the rubber band that goes on all four pegs. So you want this situation on your loom here. So now you're going to place the last rubber band, and I'm going to be using white just so you know it's the last one, and you're going to go ahead and stretch across all four pegs. You can use the same color rubber band you've been using to stretch across all four pegs, I'm going to use a different color. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to place these rubber bands going just loom them over and make sure you're you have your bracelets and what you're going to do is you're going to take all these rubber bands and move them to one peg which I would recommend the bottom right so you can use your fingers or your hook whatever you prefer and you're going to take the the take one rubber band off at a time off of the peg and place it on this peg down here make sure you don't lose the rubber band because then you could lose possibly your whole bracelet So I would recommend doing two sides first because it's much more difficult to do this rubber band at the back here for some reason. And then the last one you would place would be this back one. And so then all your rubber bands are on. And so now all of the rubber bands should be on this one peg. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook and you're going to kind of pull these rubber bands out a little bit because you're going to put on your seek or S or a clip. And you don't have to stretch them out if you do not want to, but I just do that because it's easier for me. So I put my hook in. This rubber band, this rub and remember that this is all one rubber band, so be very careful when you are doing this. So I'm going to use an S clip. Make sure it's on all the rubber bands. And pull it off of this peg. And now you have your bracelet. Mine's not even a ring, but 
but now you're going to connect this side to this other side. And so this should look kind of like the handle of a basket or the whole thing, like headphones. And you're just going to take the two rubber bands that stick out farther and the rest, kind of like the handle or basket, you know. And you're going to put it on one peg and you're going to stretch it out a little so you can put your clip on. And then you have your bracelet. 